Dampers, skater again. Um, I've been having a fiddle around, and you know me, and I like all these fancy folds and cuts and slits and everything. Just to keep it fresh, we could make regular cards all the time. But I spotted something on Pinterest, and it blew my mind. So I had to make it. It does fit in a, a normal size envelope, but it's a little bit thick. So if you wanted to put it in something slightly bigger, then you could. But this I've made for my actual, for my father-in-law. This is going to be his father's day card. I put this panel on the front. The one I saw didn't have a panel. They just decorated the front. But oh my God, look at that. How good is that? Um... I've combined the One Wild Ride with Guy Greetings and Gorgeous Grunge. And uh, this is my Father's Day card. And it's sweet. But like I say, it closes together. It, uh, I use white, most of the white. Um, so I can write my message on the back. But when that is stood upon his mantelpiece, it will look darn good, I think. So we're going to make another one. Uh, I am doing two Father's Day cards. Um, but how stinking gorgeous is that? I just love the way it stands out. Look at that. It's beautiful. And it's a really big card. It's called a double display card. So let's get cracking. Um, oh, two seconds. I'll be back now. Won't be set. Oh, I'm back again. Uh, I forgot to get my card base ready. <laughs> so I just trimmed this down now. This is 12 by 6. And we're going to need the stamp and trimmer. So we're going to... First we're going to do the scoring. I'm going to use this side just for this for a second. In fact, I'm going to pull my blade arm out actually. I'm going to score this at... 11 inches <laughs> 10 inches you can work the other way if you want uh, 8 inches 7 inches Oops. 5 inches Four inches. I will put all the dimensions on my blog. Uh, two inches. And one inch. In fact, that's why I turned it around. I wanted to do the inches side. It's easier. So there's our score line. Now we're going to put this in at the short side at one inch and we're going to cut from the one inch to the five inch and then from the seven inch to the eleven inch, both sides. So I can close this, fetch my tool. I'm going to do it on this side again because I find it easier. Line it up at the one inch. I'm going to put your blade in at the one inch. And we're going to cut down to the 5 inch line. Lift up and take it to the 7. All the way down to the 11. So it's like this. 1 to 5, 7 to 11. Turn it over and repeat. We have 1 inch. Down to five, up, and at seven, all the way down to eleven. Again, one to five, seven to eleven, and that's it. We're gonna now these fold lines. Some of the fold lines you won't necessarily need, but you're gonna fold this one down. 
and these two back and this one up, up. yeah that's right so it's don't, you actually fold that's right you skip the first line skip the first push them two down and this comes here and again push these up up down this one comes <laughs> I'm confusing myself now. Uh, up, down, up. So it folds on itself. And that's better. Just fold them there and push them in. So you fold like that. So you're getting that shape. And this is four lines. And then do exactly the same on the other side. So they go back. This bends up. These are going to get covered. So wherever there's a score line you haven't used, don't worry because they are going to get covered. So they go up. This goes in. Things go forward, they go down. So I'm folding it in on itself. It's like um a bit like a double gatefold card. That's it. We meet in the middle. We do. And then we're gonna finish these score lines. Perfect. We are going to be adding panels on there. So you, oh, right there, I've done that wrong. That's it. That's better. That's better. That one goes that way. That's it. That's better. That's it. That's the way. Bend that. And then that's your shape. And we're going to put paper in here, down the sides, on the front, and little pieces. So, this is my front flap. This is optional, it's entirely up to you. This is three and a quarter square, three and a half square, and three and three quarter square. This is just for me to decorate the front and pop my said panel in there. But for the inside, here you're going to need a piece which is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and I obviously decorated my piece with the foil then which is three and three quarters by three and three quarters and they're going to get in slotted in there so it gives you your back panel I love the foil um, you're going to need two pieces which are six inches by two inches these are the fronts but we're only going to add adhesive along those strips and they get covered up corner to corner like this so it hides and makes the card look bigger so when we fold it shut that's our cover it looks really complicated but it's so simple it's just getting the fold lines right and again I went in with these I think they're just uh, an eighth of an inch short or all round yes one and seven eighths by five and seven eighths to decorate my front panels that's entirely up to you you don't have to but I did and you're going to need two of those as well and this is for this side then again, you're going to need to either more cardstock or do as I have with the little foil sheets again. And you need six of these. These are one and seven eighths by seven eighths. And these are going in all your little gaps here. Like that one. That one. That one. And three down the bottom. So give me two minutes now. I'm going to attach all these bits quickly. 
um, and we shall be back. I'll show you the first couple and then I will, I'll, just, I'll tell you what, I'll just do it quick. I think it's such a sweet card. You could use any colour card then uh, and design a series paper and then decorate your panel for the front. If you want to put a panel on, um, you could turn it into a Mother's Day card, a birthday card, any card. It's up to you. Your sentiments are yours to uh, practice with. I've just gone a bit skew on that one, so I'll just apologise. I'll straighten that one out later. Making sure you've got a lovely little board all the way round this time and not screw with like I did. Perfect. I'm going to take the one for our centre. It gave me great ideas for my uh, Father's Day coming up. And oh, I'm going to actually. Oh, I can't give him two the same. It's his birthday this month. Oh, I could do one for his birthday. And then to do something, I do a peekaboo card, which I've already done with you, lovely ladies and gents. Ah. Uh, and this fits in, ah, oh, and it just makes the card look bigger. And it's so damn adorable. Oh, that fits in there perfect. Now I've got to be careful here. Last time I flipping glued everywhere and I ended up having to stick some pieces in the back so I didn't stick it to everything. I'm just going to add a DCF to where we need it this time. <laughs> just gay enough to make the boo boo. Right. I'm going to line up the edge with this edge and then press down. And there's your panel. Doesn't it start to come in together? It's lovely. Gorgeous. And again, see, I know there's a lot of score lines in there. You don't get to see them all. So again, bring this in. It's on the edge and then press down. And there we go, our card meets in the middle. And then it's just these little pieces now. Woo, we can get through these quick. And then I'll show you how I decorate. It's so easy that a decoration is. coming along. This is only the second one I've made. And if I can do it, you can too. But how charming. This is make a wonderful barb stay card. Doesn't matter which way up you have it either. Just gonna reinforce my score line. Oops. I hope you all give this a go and I'd love to see your photos if you want to email me at gainerb44 at gmail.com I'd love to see a copy of yours and 
what theme you chose, whether it's birthday, get well, wedding even. Oh, that'd make a lovely wedding card. Silver, a picture of the wedding rings, or the Mr. and Mrs. Would look absolutely stunning. Oh, that'd be really nice. That I'm going to put in own, my own ideas in my own head. Uh, I didn't use the foil on this one because it's got enough foil on the back. Um, but I'm only going to add adhesive to this one side. You could shorten this down. You could have a long one. You could have a thin, short one. Um, making sure they touch. Uh, you could put it in the center. I liked it up the top a little bit, so I'm going to hold this into place here, making sure I've got equal gap either side, or roughly, and edging that. Because we've only adhered down that one side now. <gasps> oh, I've lost some panels. Let's take it on. I'm missing two panels. Two seconds, I will cut them now. Um, I, but I'm sure I cut them. I don't knock them off, have I? I need two anyway. Um, and these measure three and seven eighths. By one and seven eighths. Just a tad too small. I don't know where they've gone. I could have swore I cut them earlier. But don't worry, because they are going on the inside there. Just to uh, finish off this beautiful car. I better find them now, you watch. After I've stuck them in. And I, I knew I'd cut them out. They're probably hiding somewhere, girls, don't worry. So these go here. That's all the decoration there. So when it, it looks like a kaleidoscope. Ooh. <laughs> but there's your card. Now I'm going to fetch in a piece of scrap. I do apologise for that. Flashing somebody's phone number. I could have swore I fetched them in. Um, I'm going to use the speckled dots off the... Um, Gorgeous Grunch. There is like a gravelly type rash thing uh, in um, Wild Wild Ride, but I just wanted it to look a bit more vintagey. So I'm gonna. I'm only just stamping the ones. Just gonna keep repeating, going over until the ink is gone. So that's cute. And I don't know why I keep putting the lid on my ink. It's my car. I love the car, the vintage car. See, now my father-in-law loves his car. He's not into motorbikes. I love the one mile around stamp set. But uh, he doesn't drive motorbikes. Never has, I don't think. 
probably had a little moped when he was younger, but <laughs> I've never known him to, uh... oh, beautiful. You can't go wrong with these, and I'm fetching in the father, again, to go at the top. Oh, happy Father's Day, for... yeah, I'm going to just put that on the top there. Right there. Oh, it's so cute. Right, I need a scrap piece of. I think this is my scrap piece of whisper white. On my happy Father's Day. I think they're just about an inch and a quarter. I think actually I'm going to trim it down to an inch. Oh my god, look how crisp and clear that sign is. Um, I did go ahead and didn't so much cheat. I didn't want the video to overrun, so I already stamped out uh, Life's a Journey with my badge punch, and that's off the one wild ride. And I fussy cut two of their Route 66 out and added them to glue dots. So I'm going to fetch my trimmer back in for a second. Put these to one side. And I'm going to trim my Happy Father's Day down to one inch. My card always moves, always. Straight. It was. Now it is. Perfect. And I'm going to fetch in my triple banner pants just to flag the end. Believe it or not, they are brand spanking new blades today. And they're already starting to fray my paper. I had a bad batch of stamping up before. It wasn't their fault and they don't know what they like. But... They did send me out some more before, but pff, this one is terrible already. And I've only done this one card today. I can normally make about 20 cards before my blade starts to uh, need to help. But, see it? I hate the frayed edges. So I'm fetching my card back in now, the one I made. I have some little black enamel dots here. Put one either side. Just to set it off. I am going to pop this on dimensionals. Oh, I can't tell you, but oh my god. Talking about dimensionals, wait till the new catalog comes out. That's all I can say. Oh, mm -mm -mm, keeping my lips closed. As it went on the pre-order, I can't tell you. And I'm going to pop this in there. Making sure it's level. And straight. It's my brother's birthday today, bless him. And he's out in Dominican. What a fantastic birthday. my sign and I'm just going to adhere this one down. This is my badge saying life's a journey, enjoy the ride. I love that and that's going right in the centre of my card there. Perfect. I did put these on little mini glue dots so I'm going to pop one there. And one down the bottom here. But look how quick it's come together. Once you've cut your cardstock and all your bits, fabulous. Um, 
I'm going to add a couple more of these beautiful black enamel dots here. Put two there and two there. Perfect. And then this is going on my card there. Oh, look how sweet that looks. So I'm going to attach that now quickly. I do hope you're liking the card. Um, well, I do hope you give me a thumbs up and a share. That would be amazing. Um, a subscribe if you don't want to miss out on any more videos. That would also be amazing. And if you want to order any of these products that I've used today, you're more than welcome to visit my shop. Have you seen these? They're from the Urban Underground. And I used the stars on the other one. Um, and I think, I'm not sure, I'm going to use these little, the bolts, actually, for this one. Absolutely stunning. Um, I do love these quirky little things. I might even add a... No, that's, I think that's plenty. So there's our card. There's the one I just made with you. That's the one I made before. How gorgeous. I think they're absolutely adorable and would look great on any gentleman's works uh, mantelpiece or a lady. You can shut it up. You could uh, put lovely lady patterns on there, even for kids cards and teenagers cards. They are absolutely amazing. I really fell in love with these. So thanks for watching. A, sh a thumbs up, share, a subscribe and that would be amazing and like i say i'll put all the dimensions on my blog more than welcome to visit there and there's a shop now button there's a new bonus scheme going on for customers so go and check it out and i'll see you soon thanks for watching bye